So come down here. And this is how you get over here to get this. Careful, uh, there's a switch underneath the fucking um, chest, yes. which I always forget about. Uh, as I see the arrow trap there. Yeah. Well, you know what, if I'm quick. There we go. Move, both sides. Yeah. Thankfully, I think you can only get, technically you're only gonna get hit by one because of invulnerability freeze, but that's still annoying. So I'm just gonna backtrack a little bit here. Ow. That hurt. Run! Alright, save. I think, uh, let's see, just a little bit ahead here we have... I'm guessing it's supposed to be an optional boss. Oh! Trap chest. <laughs> Asshole. This. Yeah, we have this. Did you get anything to fight there? Uh, there's there's a there's a cool upgrade in the next room that I don't think you can purchase, so I'd say it's worth it. Just takes a little bit of time. <laughs> Notice they don't give you a health bar, uh, health bar for. Well, that's that's why I refer to her as a mini boss because she takes quite a fucking beating, but it's not like an like a like a like a, like a, like a stage boss. Oh, and she's dead. Door opens up. She was the keeper of the Holy Grail. Marine symbol. Okay, so I'm gonna do my rule of range attack here. So it's like uh, things like like little prayer strips or something, or like little prayer prayer papers. Mm -hmm. Well, I can now equip the marine symbol, and it's like an energy attack. It doesn't. I don't think it hits any harder, but it has un. But but it but it ha, but it cover. It has unlimited range, unlike the uh, the other thing. So we're gonna run up here real quick and save again because we got something. And we're going down. We're going up. And we got our second boss. Or sorry, third boss. I always forget. About the, I forget what the fish exists. Nope. Uh, if that hits me, it turns me into something. It's a polymorph spell. Mm. I I got hit once, and I decided never to get hit again. Because I'll be honest, I don't like being sheeped. Ow. Okay, I keep losing track of which one's me. Oh, that's a bomb. Oh shit, she's dead already. Oh god. I was gonna hoping I could actually pace this out better to kill both of them around the same time. Because if you kill one of them, the other one gets uh, more aggressive. <laughs> Enraged. Yeah. Oh god! Ow. How am I supposed to dodge all this shit? Okay, so, um... Shit! So many projectiles. Look at this wall of garbage! God damn it! Yep. Fuck you! I do not want to know how much that's gonna hurt if it hits me. I know my ghost doesn't like it if it hits her, so. Shit! Random thought. Mm -hmm. I wonder if those are the, do you think those might be the siblings of that one girl? Of that one girl? Since she was looking for her siblings, they were taken to a cursed place. This place seems pretty fucking, you know, effed. So yeah, pretty borked. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, does she? Did, does she ever find them? You ever run to her again? There she is. Yep. Now let's talk to her. Better speak to meet you here. Perhaps I should warn you about the Ladybug Princess. She's a strong warrior who guards the garden's bell. I heard she took over after the centipede queen died. Well, who knows for sure. 
In any case, you don't want Hunt on to be in her way. Please take good care of yourself. It is only, the, only with the heart that one can see. That. Yeah. It is only with the heart that one, one can, can see rightly. See right. What is essentially essential is invisible to the eye. Take that into consideration. Okay. You're the chatty type, huh? <laughs> and that's it. Oh, no save. You're right. I forgot to save. <laughs> Thank you, Alan. You may have just saved us, saved us a, bit of, a bit of a fast forward or a fuck up here. <laughs> Whee! It's what I'm here for. That is a weird looking bug. Yep. And now it's dead. What the hell? It's a flower. No, the fuck that was not. That was a fish. It's a fish flower. Ow. Is that a Pikmin? It did. It's dead now. I kind of feel bad for killing it though. It has makes cute noises. Yeah. Oh, this is an odd-looking block in the wall. Oh, I found money. Nope. Ow! Right. I keep forgetting the little sprites that come out of the ground. They leave like a. A toxic cloud a moment after they die. It's actually kind of like a lot of enemies in the in the next in the sequel that like if they explode there's the, there's the little clouds uh, little clouds out that happen when they die. You walk through them, you get poisoned, hmm. which is really fucking annoying. Let's see, ooh, bombs. Yeah, pick bombs. Bomb, bomb spell is useful. All right, so I can go up. But, uh, yeah, if you, anyone plays platformers for a living, you know, this looks a little suspicious. Yeah. Come and die, bitches. And we got an item. And you find the sparkly. Yep. Got the... Idea. Idea statue, yeah. Uh, that creates poison trails in our projectiles. I actually really don't bother with it just because it obscures my vision too much. Also, I just kind of tap my mic so if there's a little bit of uh, a wobbly sound. Uh, despite the looks, there's nothing to the right or left of here, as far as I can tell. Like, you, you can't walk past anything. You can't walk mm. past the barter. Ow. Whatever. Going up. Going down. He's beating up on a squeaky toy. And I'm getting my ass kicked. Let's see, I think if I head down, that'll... yeah. Come on. I can't save while you're right there. Alright, here we go. Yield. Because not taking chances with this. I already fucked up and fell in the spikes once, so I failed at my desire to beat this without dying. Money. Oh, look at that derpy little owl over there. Yeah. Shoot it. Seriously? Why not? Hey, give me that. That's my money! A <laughs> uh, small thing, that owl is actually an achievement to kill that. Hmm. <laughs> Which I'm supposing if you don't find, didn't find the marine symbol, you can't do it because your normal projectile is not going to have enough range. Nope, not having you spawn around. Yeah, notice like the little flower cherub sprite thingy Um, you know, they can teleport through the ground, which is just annoying. I mean, they're adorable, but you know, they're also trying to hurt me. So, there's a treasure chest over here. Boop. Nope, my treasure chest. All the money. <laughs> Uh, 
I wish I had more to say. It's it's, it's a fun, enjoyable little game. It's got beautiful music. I love. I just. I like this game. I recommend it. Like seriously. Hell, you're people. If you're watching this, watching me play it, you know, I'm doing a 100% run, so there's not going to be much else to see. But there's always hey, something you. about experiencing something yourself. Hey, we meet again. Why do we keep running into each other? I hope you're doing okay. Me? I'm still working on my studies. How are you getting ahead of us all the damn time? I have no idea. I haven't found anything important yet, though. And unfortunately, she doesn't have anything else to say past that, so... And we're going up! It's a big bell. Oh. Look at that, there's somebody look, look dressed like a ladybug above it. Hmm. What if they're friendly? Not gonna lie, this is actually a boss fight that kicked my ass the first couple times. Of course, now it looks probably looks like it looks like it's nothing complicated. Yeah, but if you don't know... Yeah. Because, uh, basically, she has three attacks. She has a uh, little thing where she spins spins her trident, which is basically just to keep you from getting up close personal right there. She has ground this, pound and the, yeah, the ground and slam. The and, that's, and that dash. The problem is that the timing on the dash is a little strict. At least... No, it's not really. Just it's... You gotta get used to it. And it, she moves very quickly, and she will cover the whole length of the arena. Is I've just done this enough now to where I'm confident to be uh, jumping behind her and beating her up, uh, beating her up. Oh, nope! Cut that healing shit out! <laughs> what of it? Oh, what? Okay, uh, my brother has just run out the room. We'll be taking a short intermission as soon as we finish this cutscene. And protector of this guardian, I ask you to tread in peace. Here, take this. You got an owl badge. I'll just kind of leave this here. We'll be back when my brother comes back. Uh, we got <laughs> an owl badge. Neat. That is a gift from the inhabitants of the, ga of the garden. Please don't trouble us any longer. Take this and get the fuck out. <laughs> Basically, actually, yeah. <laughs> and then drop off the side, because if I drop straight down the middle... You just bounce right back up. Yep. Does that mean you have to fight her again? No, she just stands up there and just kind of politely tells you to get the fuck out. So we have an owl badge now, which is... Um, no effect when equipped. It. It's worthless. It has no use whatsoever. fucking ever. Oh, that badger is really cool. You okay there? Your words are doing something weird. <laughs> Maybe you could trade it for something? I really can't go home empty-handed. Is it dangerous? Do you need protection? I have made belief. <laughs> All I have received from my, from my town. They taste nothing like, the, like this lands. How about it? Eh, sure. Alright, here it is. Got a Karstian seed. That is a special seed from my country. Maybe you could plant it somewhere in the somewhere in this garden. Anyway, thanks so much for everything. I'll never forget about you. I will cherish this, cherish this moment forever. Alright. Now there is something we can do with that seed, but for simplicity's sake of uh, getting on later, we're gonna just move to the next area first. Alright, welcome to Artemisia's Grave. So we're gonna... So you can actually use this as a warp point. We're gonna go back to the bell, bell Tower Garden. Because the place we need to use the seed is way the fuck back here. And if I had... I could have, like, from that... Uh, the bell next to Mel, I could have teleported here. But then I would have had to go through this entire area to go back to the door. So yeah, not being stupid. Because right over here, we have this thing. And if we looked at it originally, you had said we can... Looks like we can plant something here. Now we have a seed. Plant seed. <laughs> oh my god, they can grow doors? What Man. advanced technology civilization they must be. Yeah. 
There's something odd about this door. Descend yeah, it just came out, of, came out of the ground. Distortion in time. So, uh, this is a secret area with a secret boss. You, you must have been sent by the gods to aid me in these times of peril. I am Kaho, from the village of Koho. That's confusing. <laughs> Regrettably, my other three companions have perished. Now my village is in great danger, threatened by the foul creature that lurks this lurks th that lurks this place. I am merely a priestess, helpless in the face and helpless to face anything like this. Please, I need help to save my people. Now, I think I'm going to go on here. I I don't know about the first or second game in this series because they're not on Steam. I don't know where to find them, and I haven't done the research yet. Mm. Um, but Kaho. Priestess in White is the protagonist of the fourth game. So, I'm not sure what's going on here. But, okay, we got a boss fight, so Dream Ring, Summon Stone, Marine Symbol. Let's go! And she's actually going to help. Is she gonna heal you? No. Ow, priestesses don't heal, heal people. <laughs> They fuck shit up with magic. So here we have the uh, great big ass demon Agok. Like uh, okay. It's actually not super hard. Um, basically, he has about three attacks. Oh shit! And there's the th there's the third one. He likes to explode, but uh, for the most part, he'll like some of these things. Some of these will like projectiles and launch them at you. And from his like little chest eyeball thingy there, he'll charge up and fire a laser. Up, oh, and he just killed Kaho. And this is gonna take a few minutes. Like they, they draw this out quite a bit. <laughs> Sadly, it's not really even an impressive death sequence. There it goes. <laughs> Tell me, did that really require like the 10, 15, or 30, 20 seconds that <laughs> that it took? Not really. So we are complete strangers to each other, but you stood beside me and fought for those in need. That creature, we were wrong about it. I realize I'm probably missing context that would help all this make more sense. That is correct. <laughs> I'm assuming this has to tie in with like the second with, with the previous game. Slice of shell fruit. Okay, well let's go and get the fuck out of here. There's okay, nothing so else. Let me get this straight. This one this the series is named Momodora. Yeah. And in this one, you can play Momo, Momo or, or Dora. Dora. But apparently in the fourth one, the main character is someone who is not Momo Dora. Yeah. All right, then. I I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we got a slice of shell fruit. What this does is powers up our magic leaf. Mm. So we have a much more... A, a larger and much more interesting-looking attack animation. Small thing though, I actually think that area where you know, you very clearly see it's not going mm -hmm. is a dead zone in the attack. Hmm. Because I've noticed I've gotten too close to some enemies and swung at them that I'm hitting them, but not I'm not hitting them with the full brunt of the power f effectively. But for simplicity's sake, I don't really need that right now. So what we're gonna do is oh, I didn't mean to save. I was actually meaning to warp. So let's head back onto our quest. Oh God damn it! Welcome to Momodora 3. <laughs> uh, Alright. Don't care. Don't care. <laughs> 